Shocking new details about a mysterious death at a hotel here in Washington. It turns out that a one-time aide to Russian President Vladimir Putin did not die of a heart attack. Let's get the latest now from CNN's Brian Todd, who is at the hotel. Brian? Brianna, this is indeed right out of a Cold War spy novel. As you mentioned, the family of this former aide to Vladimir Putin had said that he had died at this hotel of a heart attack. But new information tonight from the D.C. Medical Examiner's Office really elevates this mystery and raises many more questions. A power broker in Moscow, connected to Vladimir Putin, found dead in a Washington hotel room. When Mikhail Lesson's body was discovered in November, his family told Russian media he died of a heart attack. Tonight, the D.C. Medical Examiner's Office says Lesson died from blunt force injuries to the head, neck, torso, and extremities. More than likely, just based on the injuries, he was involved in something physical with someone. And what, and what I would do as the detective in this case is to first determine where it occurred. According to some media reports, there were no signs of forced entry or foul play in Lesson's room at the DuPont Circle Hotel. And there are questions about whether he was injured before he entered the hotel. The D.C. police, the lead investigative agency, did not respond to CNN's multiple requests for details. We pressed the hotel for information on witnesses and surveillance footage. They wouldn't give it. Lesson's background raises suspicions. He was a longtime advisor to Vladimir Putin, one-time head of the Russian government's media arm. A U.S. senator called Lesson one of the Kremlin's top censors. He later headed Gazprom Media, which controls several popular Russian TV stations. In 2014, Senator Roger Wicker asked the Justice Department to investigate Lesson for money laundering and corruption. Wicker claimed Lesson had acquired $28 million worth of property in California. Lesson denied it. The Justice Department referred the case to its criminal division and the FBI, but it's not clear if there was ever an investigation, and neither agency would comment to CNN. From opposition leader Boris Nemtsov to former KGB spy Alexander Litvinenko, does Mikhail Lesson join the list of people who could have damaged Putin and wound up dead? A former D.C. homicide detective says there are still too many unanswered questions. If there's no forced entry into the room, if there's no signs of foul play, I want to be able to determine if it occurred there. He could have been assaulted outside the hotel, came to the hotel, passed out, and, and, and died. But if that's the case, someone had to have seen him into the hotel. A Russian official who we spoke with would not comment on whether Mikhail Lesson might have been murdered, would not comment on the money laundering accusations. When we asked about any possible connections between President Putin and Lesson's death, this official said those kinds of speculations are inappropriate. Brianna? All right, Brian Todd for us on that very mysterious story. And I do want to say that we're standing by right now for a Donald Trump rally 